This is Duke University. It may not be the most common way to spot a police officer, but around Duke's campuses, don't be surprised to spot an officer whizzing by on this two-wheeled transport. That's because patrol officers with Duke Police can hop on these vehicles, called Segways, to get from point A to B faster than on foot and sometimes quicker than in a car. The latest situation I was in was we had an officer uh, called in a traffic stop. I was on the Segway. We had another unit coming to him in a car. And I was actually the first officer to him because I was able to take shortcuts across the grass and on sidewalks where we couldn't get a car. You have a fast response time, and when you uh, do end up on scene, you're not going to be as winded. So if you, if you have to chase somebody or even render CPR, you're going to be able to perform those actions in better physical ability. People, when they see you on it, they're curious about it. They want to approach you. They'll come up and talk to you more so than if you're riding around in a car. If you're riding around in a car with the windows up, you're secluded from the general public. This gives people the ability to come up to you right on the sidewalk where you are, and it gives them something to talk to you about. Probably the most important is having the police just in general be visible on campus, and I think the segways help them do that. I think the segways are cool. I think they draw attention to the police and make them very visible. Like we have events sometimes where the police come out and bring the segways, and it definitely, uh, I think, encourages students to go over and talk to the police and get to know them. I just enjoy getting out in the middle of the campus, going places where other officers have, would have a more difficult time going, and getting out and seeing all the people on the campus. Produced by the Office of Communication Services, online at hr.duke.edu.